Hi everyone and good morning. Brent Wessler here. Wanted to post another video as a follow up to uh, the analyze option video I posted earlier in the week. Uh, here we're going to take and build a custom extraction model using AI document intelligence within Microsoft Azure. We're going to take in a bunch of different types of documents in one model set, and then we're going to build a template model and a neural model and show you the difference in what was extracted. It's pretty interesting uh, side by side with a large uh, model set. Uh, here we came in and as you'll notice, we have a number of different fields on the right, address, city, state, zip. We also have some uh, other miscellaneous fields like claim number and policy number and client name. Now, because there's basically um, 12 different types of documents, um, I've used one model to extract various fields. So on this particular model, for instance, in this particular document, you'll notice that I didn't capture policy number, client name, client ID, and such. And as a result, uh, when I extract, I expect that the neural model will skip these fields. Um, but what I'm seeing actually is when I build a template model, the template model wants to go out and fill some of these fields like policy number, client name, client ID, et cetera, with erroneous field values. So there's clearly a benefit to using neural model building. So if we go through here, you'll notice on the claim, you can see I have a claim number and a policy number here, but these uh, client ID, case number, CT, reg number, all these things are blank. Now, if I go to a reg uh, or something that has a registration number, which you see here, and this truly does have a registration number, you see that's filled in. Okay, so when we actually go and show you and run these models, uh, th you'll see that the template model is actually pulling a CT reg uh, number for for documents that just don't have it. Um, so let's go, um, you'll see I've built two models here. Um, I use the T for template and then OMG1, which is the neural model. And uh, certainly the neural model took about an hour to build versus a template model that took five minutes. Okay, so let's now run these through the different models um, in info input. So we'll open this up and this is the template model that we ran. Now I've uh, redacted some of the interesting stuff here, but uh, as you see in document one, to my point earlier, um, you could see a few things. One, the claim number, this isn't a claim number. So this is the template model. It's pulling an amount into the claim number. The policy number, it's trying to pull what looks like um, a postal address and then the client name it pulled as immediately. Again, I'm not sure why it did that, um, but as you can see here, it did pull the CT reg number, the audit ID, and the tax amount. So that was correct, but it clearly pulled in these three fields when it shouldn't. Here we have another example where it's pulling in the policy number as a address. Again, I'm not sure why it's pulling a policy number as an address. I didn't train it that way. Here we have, again, policy number, which is a date, and we certainly won't, don't want to do that. And you can see here case number, which is also pulling a date. Go to our fourth document. This is more of the correspondence area. You're going to notice it's pulling the postal information from that area where it's pulling the client ID from a portion of an invoice that's an attachment and the CT reg number, again, not appropriate, nor is the audit ID or the tax amount. So it's pulling erroneous fields using the template model. Here we could see that it's pulling a CT reg number, which is completely erroneous, um, which is part of a flooring estimate and an invoice. The client ID, you could see here, it's actually trying to pull a, a negative amount, uh, probably a deposit amount. And um, you could see the audit ID, it's pulling a line item record. OK, so if we just stop there, I'm just going to close that. And if we look at now the neural model that got built, you can see here the first document, it got uh, the template model, got the policy number, client name and claim number. So these three fields 
were filled in with erroneous information. In the neural model, you see it's perfectly clean. Um, we don't have any of the erroneous data values. Go to the second document again. There is no policy number here where it got a, a date and uh, put a erroneous information in there. So it's reading perfectly. Uh, you can see here it's also read perfectly. We are no longer on this document three bringing in the case number and the policy number. So those uh, the case number and the policy number were two things that weren't on this document and the template model brought those in. We go to the fourth document here. You could see claim number, client ID, um, case number, the CT reg number. None of that information is there. You could see it clearly pulled in the policy number and the claim number very well. Um, it pulled in the date and all of the appropriate information and didn't pull in other irrelevant information. Um, so this is a great example because I haven't seen it do this well. Uh, here we have on document five, the template pulled in the client ID, uh, the uh, case number, the CT reg number. And again, here it didn't do that. Clearly there's fields that each document uh, is extracting certain information and some fields were definitely don't want to extract. And uh, the neural model seems to work really well on these items. OK, and, and here's another example. Uh, the zip code on the template, it brought in uh, this entire row. So on the template model, the zip code and the telephone actually were condensed and uh, concatenated into one variable. So this is just a quick example of leveraging neural model building versus template model building, and that is done right here within um, once you hit the label data and you hit the train, you'll see here neural versus template and there's clearly a delineation. Um, when you have data that's kind of all over the place, then you definitely want to use neural model building. Templates only going to be if you're using some of the same template based uh, forms. Uh, if it's semi-structured, unstructured, then neural is going to be your best bet. Certainly, if you're reading handwriting, that might be interlaced into correspondence. Uh, that's going to be your best bet. Now, notice uh, you'll see this little learn more about different types of custom extraction models. There's only 10 regions in the world that Azure supports for neural model building. Well, I appreciate everybody's time today. Hopefully you found some uh, value out of this session. Please uh, follow my posts and look forward to posting new videos next week. Thank you.